Good morning, everybody. It's the Savage Stacker. All right, so I've been doing a little research this today, and um, I'm going to talk about premiums and what's the best silver to buy right now, and uh, and compare different companies on their prices. And uh, first, what we're going to talk about here is constitutional silver, junk silver, 90% silver, whatever you like to call it. It's a it's silver with many names, and uh, here in the community, we like to call it constitutional silver. All right, so I did a little research, and at first, I was just looking at halves, but halves are a lot more expensive than quarters and dimes right now, and boy, is the constitutional silver is expensive right now, and I was talking to my local coin shop guy the other day, which he told me he'll let me do an interview with him. Um, but he is a little skeptic about, you know, showing his face and, uh, and things like that. He's had people follow him home from his shop and try to, uh, you know, do him dirty before. So he gets a little, you know, paranoid and doesn't want to show his face and stuff. But I can show the shop and uh, try to avoid his shop name and stuff like that. And just doesn't want any extra, you know coverage out there but we can get an interview with them so i talked with them about an hour the other day and we were talking about you know premiums and and what people are seeing um that are selling what he's seeing selling the most and uh, what people are after and how things have picked up and uh, just the change on people's mindset of what's you know going on with our economy and our, our world these days and uh, he gave me a lot of insight of what he's been seeing, and so I will try to get that interview here in the next couple weeks. Uh, i got to work around work, so uh, depending if I get time or not. Um, I should have filmed that day, but we were already halfway done with our conversation before I asked him, and um, I didn't want to start, you know, and have him repeat what he was already talking about. But he was, I haven't even been paying attention. I didn't realize how expensive constitutional silver is right now. I know that the price has gone up, but I didn't know this much. So a little bit crazy on the prices of constitutional silver, but we're going to do uh, like an overall, not just halves, because halves are even more expensive than quarters and dimes. And mercury dimes are even more expensive than that. So it's, it's uh, anything that's old is getting a pretty high premium for it so all right i did a little research so atmex right now is around thirty dollars for a dollar face thirty dollars for a dollar face that is insane now if you do the math here and you go 30 times one one point four it comes out to forty two dollars an ounce because it takes a dollar forty to make an ounce of silver, so that's expensive. So let's write that down there on Atmex. So an ounce of <laughs> of constitutional silver right now. Let's say one ounce. I know it's not how you do it, but that's how we end up paying for it. So we got to write this in here. That is forty-two dollars. All right, now Monument Metals right now is looking at about $27 for a dollar face. So let's look at the price of that per ounce. 27 times 1.4 equals 37.80. 37.80 an ounce. 37.80. That is a... It is a, an impressive number right there if you look at it per ounce of silver. Now let's go to SD Bullion. SD Bullion does not have really good prices on on, um, on constitutional silver right now. It's $29 face, not, not too great. So I figured they would have better prices than that, but they do not. So let's go 29. No, back up. 29, this thing does not like to push very well times one stop one point four forty dollars and sixty cents forty dollars and sixty cents wow all right the best one i had found out there was hero bullion and these are my top places i shop at those three right there are usually who i go to monument metals is my number one always has been 
and um, probably always will be. But I do shop at Hero Bullion quite often. They do have great prices. And um, $26 face. $26 face right now. It says $25 when you go on there, but that's if you buy, you know, $500 face. So that's, uh, that's kind of expensive. So it's, come on, stop. All right, so 26. Jesus, this thing sucks. 26 times 1.4 equals $36.40 per ounce. $36.40 per ounce. That is some high premium silver right there, folks. Okay, so the reason why I did it like this is because um, constitutional silver used to be cheap. You used to get this stuff for, uh, you know, basically spot, uh, maybe a little bit over spot, you know. I have paid as low as $10 face for it. And um, that's when silver was like at, I don't remember what it was. I think I paid $11 face. I think silver was at $17 an ounce, something like that. And it was, it came out to about $18 per ounce. So it was, it was, it was, um, you know, about a dollar over spot per ounce, which is great. I mean, look at the prices of this Atmex, $42 per ounce. Thirty-seven eighty per ounce. Monument forty dollars sixty cents per ounce. SD bullion and thirty-six forty per ounce at Hero bullion, which is twenty-six dollars face, which is the best price that I have found out there so far. So let's dig into this a little bit. Premiums. What are you stacking on right now? Should you be stacking constitutional silver and? I can't tell anybody what to do. You know, there's some of you out there that are gonna you know, stack it anyways, um, just because you know there's a lot of news out there saying that constitutional silver or junk silver is drying up. People are buying it, they're hoarding it, they're not coming off of it. And I really wish I didn't sell about fifty dollars face value a year ago. I really wish I didn't, but I did, and um, I've added another you know seventy or eighty dollars face to value since then, at around. 19 to 20 dollars face and uh, not too bad much better than what it is now but um i i asked him the other day i asked the guy at the lcs how much are you charging right now he's like oh he's like, i gotta charge about 27 to 28 dollars he's like, i'll give it to you for 26 dollars face i'm like yeah i'm not i don't want to buy that i'm like, i just wanted to know what what you're charging and uh he said yeah and i'm buying it for about 24 dollars face so um, so he's, you know, he's, he's making his little bit of money, but you know, he's, he's paying out for it too. It's, it's expensive right now. And these halves, forget about it. Halves are so expensive, especially like walkers and, um, Benji's. They're like $43 face or $38 face. They are expensive. So if you have been stacking halves for a while, you are doing great but I would not be stacking them right now. So I got all kinds of bars out here from vintage to uh, generic bars, right? Five ounce bars, 10 ounce bars, 100 ounce bars, generic bars, just the cheapest of the cheap. And I've been going this route for a while now. And the reason why is because I just, I wanted to, you know, I was buying a lot of vintage and I wanted to get silver had pulled back, way back, back in last fall. 22 and I wanted to go just as cheap as I can because I had been stacking quite a bit of uh, vintage and um, So I started, you know buying a lot so when it pulled back. I backed up the truck and bought like 700 ounces of good generic silver and I'm glad I did but man if I had a crystal ball I would have been picking up the Constitutional like crazy because I was getting it for $19 face $20 face back then uh, well, actually, when it pulled way back there, it was $17 face. So um, I wish I would have bought more. I wish I would have bought a couple hundred ounce bags. That would have been or hundred face, hundred dollar face value bags. It's about 70, 71 ounces. And um, but you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, and I did not. But um, just look at like, look at the prices of this stuff. It's insane. Quarters uh, cheaper. Um, uh, Roosevelt dimes are cheaper and then quarters are cheaper, of course, but anything that's got a little bit of history to it 
you know, collectability or numismatic value at all, which these walkers and the Benjis are expensive right now. Quarters, if you're gonna go after this stuff right now, quarters are probably gonna be your best bet because they've been, the Washington quarter's been out for a long time. And uh, so the only way you're gonna get dinged on that more is if you buy standing liberties and they're expensive anyways. There's some Washington quarters there. So I would pretty much stay away from Eagles and Constitutional Silver right now. That's what I would do. That does not mean that everybody should do that. I know some of you out there are still buying this stuff just because you're afraid you're not going to be able to get none. But one day, there's the same amount out there as there was four years ago. They're saying it's drying up. It's because people are buying it and hoarding it. All right, they're not, it's not just magically disappearing. It is still in people's collection. I'm not getting rid of mine, and uh, you probably shouldn't get rid of yours either, unless uh, you know you need the money. But it's not disappearing. It's people are buying it up and they're hoarding it. And they're not getting rid of it, which is a good thing in my opinion. Um, so you know, it's not uh, not disappearing, but they're saying that, you know, they're saying they just can't find it, they can't get it, the price is going up, and I feel like it's going that way with all American coinage. I feel like, not coinage, but silver, like the eagles, and and all that is very expensive right now because they're not making any more at the moment. It, it's They're making less than they were, and it's coming out late, and all these things are happening. It seems like the American silver stuff is becoming very expensive. And um, if you have it, you have it. If you don't, you know, you're probably late to the party. What I would be focusing on right now, if you are still stacking at an alarming rate right now, is um, just generic silver rounds and bars. You know, just get the cheap stuff. It's always important to uh, get the cheap stuff until we see these premiums come down um, because, you know, if the premiums pull back on this stuff and you're paying the price right now, you're never going to get that premium back. I mean, you may, but it might. It's going to take a long time. Forty-three dollars, forty-two dollars per ounce. That's that's a lot of money. I mean, you could you could basically buy two ounces, of, you know, two ounce rounds of one and three quarter ounces of silver for the price of four teen dollar forty face value. So. That's basically an ounce right there. And that's costing around $40 right now. So that's insane. I, I would just stay away from that stuff altogether. Um, some of you out there won't listen. You're gonna be going after it, but if silver does pull back, which I don't know the way things are going, I don't see that happening. Um, they're gonna go up 25 basis points again, probably here this next month. and. Uh, and um, we'll see what metals do. Uh, usually it goes down, but I don't think it's going to. I think there's a lot of banks on the edge of failing right now, and uh, I think that's what's going to happen. If they keep pushing pushing up on that um, interest rates, I think more banks are going to fail, and we're going to see the price of this stuff skyrocket. I believe that's what's going to happen. All right, so should you buy rounds or bars? I obviously love bars. They're easy to stack. Um, they're easy to count, right? And I just like the weight in my hand, right? 10 ounce bar has just got some, some heft to it. It just feels right. It just feels right. <sighs> it just feels right. Mm. Yep, look at that right there. And uh, the generic bars, you know, they're, they're all right right now. Not a bad price. If you can find a good price on them, I think they're about $28, $29 an ounce, um, roughly. And um, I didn't like five-ounce bars before, but now I'm kind of getting into them. You know, they're cheaper to obtain, and they pretty much do the same thing uh, as uh, So, yeah, just recently I've been picking up five-ounce bars, and I like five-ounce bars. Look at that right there, Raven Ivy, huh? Huh? You like that one right there? <laughs> all right, there's a couple five-ounce bars I got. These are all pretty recent pickups. This is from Raven Ivy for trade. Up next right there. A little silver countage. 
Yeah, so these are fun to pick up. They're cheaper to obtain and, and easy to store. Um, but I've always been a big fan of the 10 ounce bar, always have been. Um, and it's easier to do the math with the 10 ounce bar, right? You got a 10 ounce bar, price is whatever per pound, times 10, it's easy to do the math. So you know what you got, you know what you're getting, you know? Um, so I would be staying away from this stuff. If you have it, you have it. If you don't, just hold off. You'll get a chance, I'm sure. Um, when I do trades and stuff, this is what I trade for. I like to trade for uh, constitutional silver, right? And a lot of people have already had it in their collection, so it doesn't really cost them anything extra when they trade it. It just, uh, you know, makes it where it's easier for me to obtain instead of paying these outrageous premiums, you know? So when I do do trades, I usually try to trade for constitutional silver just because it's, you know, it's amazing stuff. It really is, and that's why it's disappearing. It's the only way you can really get fractional at a good price. Well, you used to. Now it's... Now it's, uh, now it's not. It's almost cheaper to buy fractional silver than it is to go buy a quarter ounce or a quarter, right? So, yeah, it's getting a little weird out there with those premiums. All right, everybody, thank you for all for coming by. And remember to hit that bell icon so you get updated on my latest videos. And, um, yeah, what are you stacking? What are you stacking? Are you going after bars or rounds? Are you stacking constitutional silver? Or are you out there hating on this stuff and eagles like i am you know i ain't buying the eagles i haven't been buying the eagles i won't buy the eagles but i'll tell you right now if i see premiums come down on this stuff for even a minute i'm all over them i'm all over it right maybe not so much with the eagles but i am with the uh constitutional silver all right look at that listen to that sound mm.